Ciao tutti. So now you're ready to make the rectangular Diorio's pizza. So first we're going to show you how the dough comes. Um, remember the dough will come frozen in a plastic bag. So you want to take it out the night before we prefer, or if you're running short on time, remember it's no big deal. Just take your dough out, put it on your counter and let it get to the consistency where you, where it's nice and soft. So we're going to preheat our oven to 425 degrees and then we're gonna assemble our kit. We're gonna show you how to do this one with flour. Um, for you real pizza experts out there, I think you're gonna love this. So we're gonna take a all-purpose flour that you have at home or organic or, or flour of your choice. We're gonna add a little bit of flour to our surface. We're gonna put a little bit of flour onto our pizza dough. We're gonna take it by the bag. We're gonna flip it upside down. We're gonna gently peel off our bag. And as you can see, the dough is at a beautiful consistency. Now we're going to grab our pan. Again, you can use a cookie sheet pan, anything that you have at home. We're going to sprinkle your pan with a little bit of flour. And again, this is going to give you a real New York pizza look. So we take the flour, we flip the dough, we press it out a little bit. We're going to lift, we're going to put it into the pan and we're gonna just press it out using your pan as your base. And again, because we're using the flour, I like to make this one a little bit thinner to give us a different look. Now we're gonna take our spoon, excuse me, our sauce. And again, I like to spoon the sauce in the center and then work my way out to the edges. We can always add, one of my favorites is pepperoncini to give it a little bit spice. So we're just gonna take some dried chili peppers. We're gonna sprinkle it on our pizza. Then we're gonna add our mozzarella. And again, we wanna hit our edges because when the cheese melts, it tends to melt towards the center. Now to this particular one, we're gonna add some fresh tomatoes. So we have some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes cut in half, and we're gonna add them to the top of our mozzarella. Now this one, it's a little trick we picked up in Italy. They'll take some of the fresh, fresh tomatoes that you can get at a farmer's market and put it right in the center. It becomes a beautiful showpiece. We're gonna take a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil, and we're gonna drizzle all over our pizza. And now the best part is our fresh herbs. Fresh basil from the garden or from the grocery store. And then we're also gonna add some fresh oregano. Okay, so now once we have the pizza all assembled, we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna put it into our preheated 425 degree oven. We're gonna position it right on top of the rack. And I would say anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how you like your pizza. If you like it nice and crisp, maybe 15, 16 minutes, it's totally up to you. Okay, so we have our rectangular pizza. We're gonna slide it on our peel once we let it set for three minutes. And as you can see, cheese is perfect, the dough is wonderful. It's a beautiful pizza and it has a wonderful aroma with the fresh basil and fresh tomatoes. Bon appetito. Remember, fresh is always better.